close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Try not to move away from the sensations of the breathing. Any other thoughts come up, you can just let them go. You don't have to follow them. You want to stay right here. Because otherwise, if you start following your thoughts, they start spinning around. They get involved with the world, and we know what the world is like. As gain and loss, status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. The same old things going around and around and around. And if you run after them, you get dizzy. And you lose your sense of what's right and what's wrong. So you want to stay right here in a stable place where you can know what's north and what's south, east, west, what should and shouldn't be done. It's a lot clearer when the mind is not running around in circles like that. And those circles of the world, they're not innocent circles. They're like the gears on a machine. If you have a piece of your clothing gets stuck in the gears, it pulls it in. They pull them in, pull it in, pull it in. Finally, you get pulled in, too, and get mashed by the gears. So to keep the mind sane and healthy, you need to have a place where it stays still and doesn't get pushed around or pulled around by anything else. It doesn't go running around in circles. So you stay right here with the breath. Stay right here with the body in the present moment. This can be your foundation. This can be your solid place. That way, when the world spins around, okay, when it spins around to gain and praise and status, you don't let it go to your head. And when it spins around to loss and loss of status and criticism, you don't let that bother you either. You, you learn that you can learn from these things. Okay? When you have gain, okay, you have opportunities to do good that you didn't have before. Is that what you're going to use your gain for? Well, that's the best way you can use it. Because it's not going to be there forever, and what you will be left with, of course, is the, the karma of what you did with that gain. The same with status. As for praise, you realize that some people praise you because they want something out of you. You want to learn how to step back from that. And the people who are well-intended who praise you, that's because they see you're doing something good and they want you to continue doing it, or to do more, not just to get satisfied with where you are. As for loss and criticism, okay, there are things to learn from that as well. When you lose your wealth, you lose your status, this is where you learn how you, where your friends are, who's really your friend. When someone criticizes you, if the criticism is true, well, you've learned something. If it's not true, you've learned something about that person. So we don't go running around from these things. We can learn from them. And that inspires us to be even more solidly right here, because you realize there's really no substance to these things. The substance lies in the mind that's still and quiet above the power of these things. That's where your true happiness lies.